Hello there. I hope this finds you well. I hope this finds you really well. That's what I hope for today. <laughs> this book is nonfiction. You know, I love a bit of nonfiction. Uh, this is While You Are Out by Maggie Kissinger. It's an intimate, intimate, intimate family portrait of mental illness in an era of silence. So Meg Kissinger grew up in a family of eight, a ragtag a bunch of kids living in a loving home, but she also grew up hiding a secret. Both of her parents were mentally ill and no one was talking about it. From her mother disappearing from the home for periods of time to siblings struggling with depression and delusion, it was loving but chaotic. This book is her memoir of that time, a loving, honest portrait of a family in freefall, and the experiences that led her to write about mental health as a journalist, and her work exposing the conditions of mental health institutions, which is um, something that she's more known for as well. I was drawn to this one because I actually know someone of the author's generation who grew up in a very similar environment, a family where mental illness affected the parents and was inherited by children, but that it couldn't be talked about. There was so much shame and stigma attached. And just the silence that families used to cope, sweeping it under the rug and leaving kids with questions that they had to find answers to on their own just seems like a pretty common circumstance of that era. And um, I mean, that still sometimes happens today, too. I was expecting this book to be a little more sad or dark than it was, but I was pleasantly surprised. Kissinger talks about her family and shares funny stories and bits of lore, which lifts the book out of navel gazing or just another memoir of trauma. And it gives us a rounded portrait. It's often very sad, but it's also full of love and humor as well. And I really grew to love the author and her family as I read it. They're so human, fragile, and relatable. We're invited into the sweet child's heart of the author and see her as an overwhelmed child, how the constant drama and the amount of siblings that she had made being seen and heard impossible. There's not a lot of blame in the book. It's more constructive and forgiving, but it does point out how the social climate and the Catholic faith placed a lot of shame and pressure on families in this circumstance. I read this one really swiftly, dreading as the author dropped little hints of what was to come, but just turning page after page. I cannot imagine having eight children, mental health, health issues and postpartum depression, and being left alone by your husband who's only home on weekends. That just blows my mind. Or being a child trying to make sense of your mother just not being there one day and wondering if she's coming back and if it was somehow your fault that she's gone. Or losing a beloved sibling to suicide. I love this book as a portrait of a real family, as something ordinary, but also precious, and also as a history of family mental illness and how that was covered up and kept secret. Towards the end of the book, the author talks about her unique perspective and how that informed her interests as a journalist and how she was able to improve conditions in the mental health care system through her work. And I really loved that too. Using your pain to understand others and to motivate you and make a better life for yourself and others is a really wonderful thing. So while it's often sad and sometimes tragic, this was a book that was more full of love and laughter as well, and I enjoyed it a lot. This is one to read if you came from or know of a loving but dysfunctional family. It's raw, it's unflinchingly honest, sometimes funny, sometimes heartbreaking, but always great reading. You can check out some of my other videos. I also have another channel and social, so you can find links below if you want more of that. And if you want to hang out again, remember to like and subscribe. And you can always leave a comment. Let me know what you thought or let me know what else you might want to see. Thank you.